There we go. Welcome back, everybody. We got two brands, and that's it. By the Poppy, Double Singed, and Lowey. First augmentation is going to be Arcanist Heart. Yeah, I'm actually going to take Arcanist Heart. That's pretty good. Two Star Singed. Digs. Oh, Misfortune. Um... Yeah, we're not going to worry about the mercs this game. And I get two quins. Really? Can we try mercenary cash out? Ugh. I'm not feeling mercenary cash out. Really shouldn't be doing mercs. But I think what we could do is play mercs. And then cash out, transi transition into arcs. We're gonna sell the entire bench. Because we can actually make 10 gold. No point of keeping those Arcanists for now. We're just gonna cash out and transition later. This round, we got another Lowey. Let's pick that up and put him in. Another guy trying to play Arcanist. I'm pretty sure this guy's trying to. Yeah, Arcanist is pretty contested nowadays. So uh, we'll see what happens. But I think we can make this happen. But uh, Tear is gone. So we're going to take... Um, a sword, actually. We're going to get top 4 this game. Everybody voted top 4. Fuck yeah. Come on. All hands on deck. That's what I'm talking about. All hands on deck. Ugh, okay. Another guy playing Arcanist. Man, I just love the fact when I take Arcanist heart, everybody plays Arcanist. You know? <laughs> uh. Alright. Let's go level 5. Bring in Corky or... Some extra damage on the board. Yeah, I may not be able to play Arcanist. There's like too many Arcanist players in this lobby. I've never seen like four Arcanist people or possible Arcanist players in the same lobby. That's crazy. Yo, that's more than Warwick players. I see in every lobby. It's crazy. Anyways, we'll just see what we get. And for this round, we got Ari. Yes! I'm already ahead of the race because I got Ari. <laughs> we still have the weakest team in the lobby, so I'm going to lose. But I'm going to try to mitigate some damage that I take. And uh, I'm, I'm going to maybe slam items next round. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about this one. Two star Lowy, Good. Let's go level 6. And bring in the Quirky. So let's see who I'm fighting against next. Okay. Uh, I'll build Morello. That's it. Nothing else. Um, I don't want to win. We want to just. We have to make sure we lose. If I get more items, we can. We could possibly beat this guy's team. Isn't that good? So when you're going for the lost streak, make sure you don't have a strong team. Um, do you guys think it's Celestial Blessing 1? Probably, right? Yeah. Celestial Blessing 1 is pretty good, so I'm going to take that. I can just give tier. I'll definitely lose to this. He has Double Trouble Warwick. 2 star. And it should be better than my team. Ari dies. My whole team dies. Good loss. Hey, Ari with a tier? Come on. That's too easy. Yay. So we have a chance to possible Ari 2. So we're going to go level 7. And uh, this out, y'all. Oh, grab the Lush. Grab the Lush. Uh, don't worry about Quirky. Oh, that's bad hex. Oh, what did I say? I knew that was going to happen. 
always a possible chance. Oh, I got RE2. Nice. Yeah, lucky carousel, and then we hit RE way earlier in the game, so I gotta say, pretty good RE luck. And then you can just go Giant Slayer. Normally, you do Gunblade, but you don't need Gunblade because you have Celestial Blessing. And Giant Slayer is very effective on RE and in this current meta. So in this case, Gunblade, you don't need it. Once again. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to Econ. Okay, you know what? Uh, I don't actually care about GP. To be honest. Actually, I'm going to drop damn map. Make some space here. So I brought three Syndicates in. Okay, Jace Kaisa? Wait, that's sick. And the last orb is coins. Okay, that's great. This is a pretty good cash out. Uh, you know what? We're going to bring in Zyra for Scholar bonus. So we got three Syndicate, two Scholars, two Bruiser, two Arcanist. That's the build. That's the build. Then we have a Spatula, Chain Vest, Glove. I think I got Spatula, right? I'm going to cash out. Nice. Anyways, RE2 is popping this game. Very good. Would Titans be good on GP? Would I build Titans on GP? Yes. If you want to build Titans on GP, you can definitely do that. Uh, we can actually sell the Quinn. Yeah, I guess Jace. Jace is fine. We got a pretty good Arcanist game coming. Already perfect, basically perfect items on Ari, and really nice augmentations for Arcanist, Arcanist builds. Uh, so this game is looking lit. So it's pretty good, y'all. It's pretty good. I'm gonna move everybody to the left hand side. Now spatula. Probably best with Arcanist Emblem. Right? We have like Spear of Shojin. I'll just go with Spear of Shojin. Lowy. And then it might be Shroud. Yeah, it might be Shroud. Though so Ari can beat Warwick, it's possible for her to beat Warwick with Morello because you can burn his healing. And now we're gonna level up. So, Star Syndra, let's go level 8. Yeah, we can just go level 8. Bring in Kaisa. This is why I love playing Mercs. This right here is why I love playing Mercs. No? I sold the Lowie because Spear of Shojin on Kaisa is good. But Mercs can really work with anything. If you get them early, you know, it doesn't matter what comp you play, you can just transition into whatever you want to play. The great thing about Mercs is that you get free gold, insane econ, free items, and free champions as well sometimes. So this is why I love Mercs. Hey, we got another Jace. Let's pick that up. And you know what? We could get Bodyguard in. Okay, I'll drop one Braum. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Boom. Move our guys around. Keep an Ari at the third row. You can also put her in the last row if you have to, but uh, normally you keep Ari in the third row as well. But sometimes... It's better to keep her all the way in the back, depending on who you're fighting against, like Assassins, or maybe Warwick. Because you gotta protect this Ari at all costs. You gotta get her to shotgun the whole team over and over again. Oh, there's a Spatula! So we'll take the Spatula Rat. <laughs> Wait, Arcanist Tom? So we got a Force of Nature with a Spatula Ash out that we had earlier. So let's build a fawn. This is going to be a straight to level 9. Uh, straight to level 9 game. Actually, we can roll a bit right now. It's going to be slow rolling because... Uh, do I want... No, again, we don't want Seraphine, right? Yeah, we don't want Seraphine because... 
<clears throat> right now, the Socialite Hex is in a bad spot. The Mutant bonus is Voidborn. That's pretty good. I almost have Kai'Sa too. So like... Actually, you could even sell Ari, give the items to Kai'Sa, and play a Kai'Sa game. That is another option. That is another option, but I don't know. I don't feel like playing Kai'Sa. <laughs> Ari is good. You know, she's doing 9k. I have Arcanist Heart, you know? I don't want to drop her. I don't want to drop her. There was a Vex in the shop, but I didn't pick it up. Um, so the next augmentation, component grab bag, runic shield. Runic shield is really good, but I think I'm going to take component grab bag. Okay, so the reason why I'm taking component is I'm not going to play a full Arcanist game. I'm going to actually make a hybrid comp. Yeah, I'm making a hybrid build. Okay, so unfortunately we have too many swords. Yeah, unfortunately we have too many swords. Actually, Edge of Night's good. It cannot this is actually one of the best Kaisa items right now, currently. Because Kaisa, if she gets when she dashes to the front, she gets focused. And then she can survive when Edge of Night kicks in. Yeah, so apparently, like, Edge of Night Kaisa is pretty good. I'm gonna keep Kaisa for sure this game. Here's the plan we're gonna go level 8, get 2 star Kaisa. We're gonna drop the Blitz, I think. Bring in Kha'Zix and Vi. Or, uh, no, actually, drop the Sedge. Sedge, yeah, we dropped the Sedge. Okay, yeah, we got the Vi, right? I'm just gonna go level 9. Because these guys are getting stronger. I think we dropped the Sedge. Bring in the Cholgath. Yeah, we're gonna do... Uh, yeah, just for a monk, Jake. I'll just do Wormox, QSS, Jace. So we have three mutants now as well. I might sell the Ari, but again, I feel like my Ari is really good. Like, I kind of don't want to sell her. So, is Enforcer worth in this lobby? Enforcer? Yeah, so about Enforcer. Is Enforcer worth in this lobby? I'm not sure about Enforcer. Actually, you know what? We should just do... Yeah, we should have actually put Enforcer in. I don't think Cho'Gath was worth it, but this is probably better. And then Malzahar. Malzahar is our... We don't need Mal's this game. We can sell the Kha'Zix. We don't really care about Kha'Z. He has no items. Two Star Vi is pretty good. So basically right now, we just want 2-star Kai'Sa, and then this board is capped. And then for her last item, if, if we can get Morello or Archangel Staff, this Kai'Sa is going to be lit. Yeah, Morello, Morello or Archangel Staff is really good on Kai'Sa. But I think we got the full board that we wanted. Do a swap. So keep the front lines in front of Ari so she doesn't get screwed over. This guy's playing Ari and Malzahar with Silco, but I don't think they can beat my <laughs> my my very strange looking team. This is like a really strange looking team. Wow, he actually almost beat me. Wait. Oh, he actually almost beat me. Wow. Wait, let me buy Tom. Um, the next item is going to be, wow, I'll just take Gunblade. Drop three Syndicate for four Bruisers. I might drop three Mutants. Yay, two-star Kai'Sa. Worth, I'm thinking about dropping three Mutants right now. All 
All right, here we go. Let's go Gunblade on the Kai'Sa. So, all the bonuses I have are nice. Or Bruiser, they don't. You only get hundred more health. It's uh, it's questionable. I might put in the Tom though. Oh, we have Scholar casted in. You can actually drop uh, Syndra. Then you can drop the Kha'Zix. So now you have four. You have four Bruisers now. Yeah, maybe it's this. Four bruisers? Because Cassidin is a mutant as well. So we have like perfect synergy right now. Three star Warwick. Perfect synergy. Kaisa with double the healing. Warwick goes down. Broken Warwick build. We killed it. Now it seems like Kaisa is doing more damage than Ari. Kaisa too, of course, really strong. Yeah, you could have actually played like a full five mutant game here if you wanted to, but um, I just decided not to play five mutants. But you could have if you wanted to. Sure. And then we just need uh. We need two star Tom. And uh, don't worry about that. Yay. Tom can shit. Here we go. ET on the Jace. Hank Jace. <laughs> oh, this guy's playing full mutants. Does he have seven? Oh, he has seven mutants. Wait, he has seven mutant mutants. Oh, broken. Seven mutants. Broken. Wow, we got one item component. Nice. Okay. So uh, we're gonna just feed the big boys. Oh, we got Spear of Shojin. Okay, Spear of Children, Tom Kench. Alright, we go 3, 2, 1. Boom. Oh, look at my lovely front line, dude. I love this team. Okay, this guy... Yo, you know what? I never hit a Victor this game. And I went fast 9. I would have definitely played Victor <laughs> if I hit him early. Oh my god, this guy, Victor got obliterated, yo. Obliteration, dude. Holy smokes. Yo, we have not lost a round, Jesus. Hazix player once again, here we go. Oh, you know what? Tom can't eat the Galio. That, that's kind of the bad thing about... Fighting- oh my god, he beat me. Wait. Wait, what the fuck? Arcanist Tom? Wait, actually, I'm gonna take blue buff. I'm just gonna go blue buff. Let's just give Tom, like, double the power. Okay, so final guy is the mutant player. Okay, we go. I'm gonna bring everybody to the back. Yo, Tom, eat the Kha'Z. Yes! Kha'Zix dead. That Kha'Zix is such a problem. Seven mutant player broken, but ah, yo, my Tom Kench instantly killed his cause. I just beat a really difficult comp, by the way. Seven mutant, he had like full cat board, two star Galio. So this is a crazy Kaisa Ari game. Wow! Thanks for watching.